Hello and welcome to Fresh Manna Ministries and this is a Fresh Manna Moment. This is an inspirational expose on concepts of biblical principles and topical study. I am Rev. Dr. Alan G. Jenkins, Jr., one of the ministers of the Fresh Manna Ministries International. These messages are designed to bring a sense of confidence as your walk with the Lord is enhanced through the embellishment of the Word of God in Scripture. Let's prepare for another topical experience in the Word. Fresh Manna Moments. The gift, the gift. Ephesians 2, 8 states clearly, For by grace are you saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Ephesians 2, 8. A gift is not something you have earned. If it were, it it wouldn't be a gift. A gift is not something you deserve. If it were, it it wouldn't be a gift. A gift is something that is given to you for no reason at all. For if there were a reason for giving a gift, it would not be a gift. A gift is something that is given to you simply because you are. And because you are, you are loved perfectly, completely, infinitely, eternally. You are loved in this way by God, by the only one who can love perfectly, completely, infinitely, eternally, and and, and simply because you are. And because God loves you in this way, God gives you this one perfect, everlasting, all-encompassing gift. God gives you the gift of grace. Grace, yes, grace. Grace is God treating you infinitely better than you deserve to be treated. Grace is God's love poured out for you even though you didn't request it or or were not even aware of it and will never merit it. You can't earn it. Grace is God's sacrificial, voluntary self-giving of God's self to you simply because you are and because of God's perfect love for you. God's gift to you is God's grace. Will you accept God's gift of grace? Will you, by the simple act of faith, belief, and trust, recognize that God loves you so much that God showers you with grace? Will you, by faith, embrace the grace that God gives you as a gift? To do this is to know the life abundant and the life everlasting that God provides. To do this is to trust the everlasting promises of God. To do this is to reckon with the fact that you are saved. For by grace you have been saved through faith. 
and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Ephesians 2.8 The gift. The gift. Well, I look forward to sharing with you the next time on Fresh Manna Moments. I encourage you to stay in the Word because there is no other place to reside. Remember the blessings of Numbers 624 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace until we meet again. This is Reverend Dr. Alan G. Jenkins, Jr., Fresh Manna Ministries, Fresh Manna Moments. Shalom.